by the time we came along, it's like, hmm, ain't going to be dumb. I'm going to be smart. Yeah. So he basically just went out and found all these little local, you know, 16, 17-year-old kids who was interested in becoming rappers and making music. And he said, I'm going to put together a record and call it the Compton Compilation. Because at the time, Compton was starting to be a hotbed. Yeah. You know, Compton, Easy e N.W.A., Compton, 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 Compton. So, Compton Compilation. We was all unknowns. We was all nobodies. But for a motherfucking record executive, it's a smart-ass fucking move. Yeah. I can make a hundred grand real quick. You get me? I could press up a couple of records and a couple of cassettes and go place them in every swap meet from here to the fucking Bay Area and whatever and call it the Compton Compilation. Just because it's Compton on that motherfucker, nigga friend run out, oh, let me get this record. So that's how, that's how basically we got our start with doing records. And then from Lonzo... Because we didn't sign no contract or nothing. Yeah. We wasn't signed. We just, and that's when Unknown's antennas went up. Because he like, oh, you didn't sign them niggas. We did our first record. And I think it was about, I don't know, maybe 15 acts on the record. Out of the whole record, we stood out. We had the image. We had the name. You get me? Think of it. Hmm, N.W.A.? These niggas is Compton's most wanted. Look at them. They got on sweatshirts and khaki suits. They holding guns and beanies on. Oh, it was perfect. You know, for a, for a, for a motherfucker like, yeah. oh, it was perfect. Because he like Lonzo's homie in yeah, the sense, right? Yeah, it was right? perfect. Yeah. You get me? Oh, it was perfect. These niggas don't know nothing about music and industry and publishing and writers. They just some young niggas who want to be on the cover of a record and go, they rapping. They don't know nothing. So, but that's how we got in. We went through Unknown. Unknown had, Unknown was Slip. And DJ Slip was like the in-house producer. He produced all the hip hop for Lonzo and Unknown, whatever. So they said, I'm gonna link eight up with Slip, put them niggas in the studio together, and them niggas gonna come. And me and Slip cooked up a whole record. And we, Unknown kind of took the grimy route. Unknown with took the manager executive route. You know, he put his hands a little bit when it came to doing actual music because yeah. he was a DJ. He had a label, whatever. But when it came to really grinding, that was me and Slip. Slip would do all the beats, and then I would sit there and write. I would just sit there and write. And that's how we came up with the first album, It's a Compton Thing. And then Unknown, who knew the... You know, the back channels and the Hollywood niggas and the niggas in the offices, he took that motherfucker and walked it right into Hollywood and said, look what I got. Yeah. And then Whiteman, they was like, oh, shit, you got one of these? Uh, Compton and dope selling and police. and So basically, he went in and got a production deal, and he signed us to his little label, but then he went and got the big money from the labels. So Yeah. Do you, you feel like that was a gift and a curse at the same time? Well, it is because I always tell people, if you come into this industry, you're going to get fucked. Yeah. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I don't care. You could have been Drake, Jay-Z, Michael Jackson. You're going to get fucked. You see TLC. You see Somebody's going to yeah. fuck you. So you have to be prepared to take that route in the beginning. Now, what you do down the road... That's when you have How to. You flip but it. right to get in that door, and a oh, nigga's finna rape you blind. Yeah, but you have to take that. Fuck it. You look at it like you know something. I got me a five year contract. Deal with his ass for about two years, and then tell him to kick him out. Because by that time, I'm gonna be so on the roll. What do you want to do? You want to let me go, or do you want to kick this nigga out? And that's just what eventually happened. 65, 65.